Hey guys, this is Memushek and from past few tutorials I am working on a video tutorial series of creating employee management system using PHP MVC framework coordinator and CSS and HTML framework bootstrap. This is what exactly we are going to create in this video tutorial. Uh, uh, I have uh, taken you guys to a complete tour of this uh, HRMS portal in my first video. I have uh, added a functionality of creating an employee and whenever I click on the view employees I will get the number, the number of employees that are registered in my portal and if I want to delete then I can delete either a single employee or multiple employees at the same time and if I want to search any employee I just need to put their name in this search box and search then I will get that employee in my table okay so this is these are the functionality and whenever i click on this i will get the uh, professional personal contact and qualification details of that employee all these functionalities we will be going to achieve in this video tutorial series okay so in my last video i had completed the functionality of login and in this video i will continue from the um, I will, in this video I will restrict the users from being entered into the dashboard here okay from being entered into the dashboard without login okay if I now if I try to access dashboard then it will directly take me to the dashboard okay so here dashboard okay let me just okay here see so I'm not logged in I'm not logged in I have not logged in from by entering email and password and still if I try to go to my dashboard it will take it will take me to the dashboard so uh, from here if I want to come to my login page it will take me to the live login page so we should avoid all these um, errors in our application so, so we should write some code to uh, avoid those kind of errors so, we need to check here before entering into our login controller we need to check that whether a user who is trying to get access to the dashboard whether he is actually logged in or not or whether their session id is set or not if their session id is not set then we should take them to the login page and if the if that person is trying to access to the page by entering their law email and password then in that case we should take them to the dashboard okay that's what the logic this session user data here i need to pass the user id that i have stored in my session variable you can see I have stored user id in my session uh, session so i am calling that user id i am checking with the help of this user id which is stored inside my session to check whether the user is logged in or not if the user is logged in then i should redirect them to dashboard controller or else otherwise if the user is not uh, is not entering uh, entered their username and password in the text fields and uh, instead of that he if you try to access uh, to get access to the dashboard controller then i will take them to the login okay and now let us go and check okay okay now i'm logged in so okay now i'm logged in and from here if i try to get access to login then it's not taking me to the login because i'm already logged in okay. so it's not taking me to that and once I come to the dashboard controller, here also I need to restrict to the users. So here I need to write this 
much dollar in this session user data as user id it is not set then i should take the user return redirect to login controller else i will take them to dashboard okay, now let us check okay and let's build an logout functionality also after that we can uh, check all these errors very efficiently and so public function logout here we need to check whether we need to uh, and here actually here we need to unset our session variable okay so let us go to our coordinate user guide click on table of contents and then search for session session class and find unset ok we need to find where is unset ok we need to take this copy and paste it here we need to unset our session variable and here user id is our session variable once the session id is unset or the session variable is unset then we should take the user to login view ok now okay, save it and now let us give it a try Okay. Now if I try to make the PHP slash dashboard, okay, now it's not taking me to the dashboard because the session variable is not set. So let's see. Okay, okay, now in my dashboard. And from here if I try to access login page so it's not taking to the login because we have restrict the users from here and if i try to log out slash log out okay now it has taken me to the login page because the session variable is unset and now if i try to access dashboard it's not taking me to the dashboard okay so i hope you understood the logic behind it and uh, what we will do is we will display we will try to display this logout uh, section whenever whenever a person is logged in here we are not logged in and still we are able to see this logout on the login page but we should see this logout link once the user is logged in okay so let's do that okay now let us check this slash okay slash code okay this include reader dot php copy reader dot php okay Okay, include call to undefined function include okay. Include let us see okay. 
to go to login login view where is that login view okay here now oh, sorry i need to go to header here i need to display this based on the session variable php okay this session user data user id and here so if drop this one bring it here else and if ok if user Section ID is set, then I should display this section else the registration it should be empty. So now let us go to our login page. Log out. Okay. Logout. Okay, now I am in my login page, and you can see I'm, I here that logout link is not displaying because I'm not logged in now. So when I key enter my username and password, then you can see logout is displaying here. Okay, and I should change the link here on header. change it just copy this okay. and put an anchor tag here Here the path as dash dashboard slash change password and label okay now copy once again and paste it here and make it as login logout make a link as logout ok now let us refresh it and when I click on it ok two links are displaying here I should make this and refresh if I click on logout, then it's taking me to the login page. Okay, and from here, if I try to go to my dashboard, it is not allowing me to go to dashboard because I'm not logged in. Okay, let's log in. Okay, now I'm logged in, and from here, if I try to go to my login page, it's not allowing. And I click on logout and click on logout, then I will redirected to the login page and from here uh, and one more thing guys uh, now we have completed our complete login logout functionality and uh, now if you can see in this url every time i need to put index.php okay to each uh, to access each and every controller suppose here uh, let us login first okay dashboard okay if I try to access to my dashboard without entering my index.php, it's showing me object not for error. So we need to override this error. So to 
uh, overcome this error we should include one dot htaccess file in our root folder okay uh, it, okay and here you need to create one file with the name as dot htaccess okay and here you have the code you can uh, you can get this code uh, by just searching google or internet or just uh, copy it from here and paste it here okay okay if you want to copy it out i'll just zoom it okay you will just make uh, your people can just make uh, make a note of it and then you can use it in your uh, projects okay just pause the video and make a note of this code okay now save it and then i now try to refresh see i i overcome that error now i can now i'll be able to access to my dashboard page without entering index.php even if i try to enter index.php slash dashboard okay no problem for that it will take that index.php uh, even if we write this code in my in our uh, project so and even if i removed the index.php from our path it will also accessible okay let's log out slash login okay and guys i hope you understood um, something out of it or, um, and you got some extra knowledge from this video uh, in this video we discussed how to restrict user uh, to enter into our controllers into our um, home page without uh, entering their username and password okay and then we uh, discussed on how to remove an index.php file from the url okay you guys i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video tutorial subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video you guys bye